All right, so hello. This is my little, uh, my first official, I guess, multi topic newsy video blog. Or wait, so it's a vlog, right? Video blog, that's a vlog. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, it's probably not going to be that shockingly amazing. Um, but I'm going to go over a couple things that I saw in the news today. And, uh, you know, not, some of it may be, you know, from time to time I'll do pop culture, but I'll just do whatever hits me is interesting. Okay, first of all, thank you, President Obama, for saving the auto industry. Some people don't know you did that, and some people who do know you did that don't give you credit for it. They just want to, uh, you know, Fox News, for example. They want to talk crap about you actually saving the auto industry, which I think is ridiculous, because that's part of saving our economy and saving our country. Um, uh, America, I will say that we do seriously need to help Syria, um, even if it means war. Screw China and Russia for green lighting and humanity. Um, you know, these people are being exterminated like bugs. And they've asked us for routine, numerous times for our help, uh, for, for international help. And it, it's just our basic, uh, good, you know, basic conscience, you know, I am my brother's keeper. We have to help them. And um, Syria, I don't know what's wrong with you guys, um, but when President Obama threatens you, you need to listen. Okay, you better listen. Because he, he's not playing with you. And I don't know why you, I feel like, I don't want to sound like Darth Vader here, but, uh, <sighs> Your lack of fear disturbs me. <laughs> okay, your lack of fear disturbs me. Because this is the same man as nice and wonderful as he is. Okay, yeah, he's a cool dude. This cool dude took out Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda and some pirates the other day. Okay, he's great. He's, he's a wonderful, kind-hearted man. I mean, he has the patience of a saint with these evil people here in, in America. I guess because we're still, we're, they're still, unfortunately, part of the family. So we have to put up with them. But when it comes to outside of the family, when it comes to outside of America, outside of our home, you know, Papa don't play, okay? <laughs> All right? He will surgically remove you in a heart, in a heartbeat, in a New York second, in a, in, a, in a YouTube second, okay? In a New York minute, in a YouTube second, okay? He will wipe you off the face of the planet if you are a bad guy who is perceived as a threat to the humanity of life, especially our lives, but, you know, if he's got his peeps with him, that's even more reason for you guys to be afraid, okay? Not only did Obama take out, you know, like, numerous bad guys, numerous terrorists that don't want to screw with us now, but he's got his posse with, you know, globally now. He's got freaking Europe, uh, is Turkey in Europe? Yeah. He's got, like, you know, and I think the, some of the people in the, some of the leaders in Africa, I think, he's got, he's got a bunch of people, uh, global leaders, Besides, of course, China and Russia. You guys suck. But um, he's got a bunch of people who will back him up. So you need to... I mean, I, personally, I hope that we do go to war with you. Because I would like to wipe you guys out. Because the things you guys have done to your people, are it's like abusing your kids. It's the horrible. It's awful. You guys don't deserve to exist. If you're going to be Hitler, basically, and Stalin. That's the way you guys are acting, like Hitler and Stalin. So you don't really deserve to, uh, to, to exist, let alone govern. So I hope that we do take you out. Um, because I know with Obama, it ain't going to be like with Bush. It ain't going to be no 10-year war. It'll be like a day. <laughs> you know? And we're not going to be like Europe in red coats coming at you, playing the drums, freaking, you know, two lines of, of people lining up against each other to for war. No, it's not going to be like that. We're going to freaking, you know, Navy SEAL Team 6 is going to roll up on you in the middle of the night in dark clothes like freaking ninjas and just just kind of take you out and then it's over. It's no theatrics whatsoever. It's just, bye. <laughs> we told you not to with us. <laughs> okay, Obama said knock you out. So we did it, you know? So uh, you guys in Syria, you may never see this video. Or if you do, you won't care because, you know, who am I, right? To you uh, at this point. But uh, I'm just, I'm going to put that out there. Obama's going to knock you out. All right? These fools in America may not get it, you know, because, you know, they still have racial issues with him. So they're going to, you know, blame all these other reasons for not liking him when, you know, really he's one of our best presidents ever. But look, he will he will F you up. So you guys, you know, you better not only just stop what you're doing, but you need to just pack your bags and leave. OK, <laughs> because once Obama has has you uh, targeted to take you out. That's pretty much the end of it.
Okay, because he's a great guy. I mean, he has a good, kind heart. He wants to help people. Unlike Mitt Romney, he cares about poor people. And, you know, he was a community organizer, you know. He's he he's a very, for, I guess, forgiving because he forgives the GOP for all the crap they put him through. The whole forgive them father for they know not what they do thing, which the more than I can say for myself. Because if I was president, I would tell you. <laughs> I would have some of them GOP congressmen and people uh, so I'd be, meet me out, meet me outside, meet me out back. Yeah, you canter, you lie, interrupting my speech. Meet me outside. We we got something to talk about. Boys, bring it back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, maybe. But anyway, look, Syria, you guys suck. We're going to try to do our best to help you guys. I know it because I believe that America is not going to just stand by and watch you guys get brutalized. Um, so I had to say that. And um, oh, Obama administration, uh, you guys seriously need to give the Catholic institutions what they want compromise with them. Uh, I'm not even Catholic, and I feel that way. Um, all the churches. Um, I think this was very clumsy of you guys. You guys had a blind spot for the first time, and you really need to back down on this. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and I think you will. I think you guys will do the right thing. Um, I'm also going to be starting, just to let everybody know, I'm going to be starting to give uh, the Obama uh, campaign $25 a month. Sorry, I'm not rich yet, so I can't give more than that at the moment. Um, <laughs> and then $50 in October, just a little, as an extra little push. And uh, maybe a little sum sum to the super PAC. Um, and I totally understand the whole super PAC thing. I mean, look, you can't, it's not really fair for like one side to have unlimited resources and then the other side, you know, voluntarily holds themselves back, okay? Mitt Romney is worth more than the last six presidents combined times two, okay? And that mingled with the Republican corporation, people, corporations feeding the Republicans money because they don't have a lot of money coming in from normal people like us because normal people don't really like them too much these days. Uh, but they have a lot of corporate money coming from corporations who want them to do things for them. So, yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm cool. I mean, it's like until the super PAC thing can go away completely, both sides should play by the same rules. Okay, it's only fair. Um, let me see. Pete Hoekstra in wherever you're from. Um, dude, you are a dumb racist bastard, okay? Um, and the entire Asian community should kick your ass. And um, I don't know if, are, are all Republican leaders evil now or just the ones who grab the microphone? I'm really, you know, I don't, I don't like a lot of what's going on there. Um, but I just, you know, I really, I would like to think that, you know, there are some Republicans out there like Colin Powell and C Charlie Crist, that they're not all freaking Jan Brewer, Sarah Palin, uh, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, you know, crap heads. That's what they are, they're crap heads. So, but I mean, I, you know, you guys are really disappointing me. And, you know, as a conservative, I'd like to feel like I have a tribe. I don't have a tribe because I, I like the Democrats, but for the, the current Democrats, but I don't agree with everything that they think. And they, they, you know, I can't talk with some of them about certain issues because we're just not going to, you know, you know, they'll, they, you know, they might not. So it's just kind of like, I wish, I, you know, and I wish that Fox News, I wish that you guys didn't exist, but we had another conservative network that was actually an actual news network that wasn't just a propaganda machine, which is what you guys are because you're actually owned by a political organization, and that, you know, it was an actual fair kind of thing, like just basically the conservative version of MSNBC, you know, um, but, you know, no, Fox, you guys suck, you guys just lie, and you make things up, and that's not news, that's not even human that's evil <laughs> i don't know where you guys come from you, i think you worship the devil sometimes um giselle is freaking you guys you, you're freaking hilarious honey you go girl i would have said the same thing don't 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 worry about it um clint eastwood's halftime commercial was freaking awesome okay um i'll bring that up again at the end of this little thing vlog uh go giants go patriots go sparkly pink flying unicorns um <laughs> and uh what else um iran uh, you and your uh, scary female ninjas, uh, you need to stand down with your nuclear weapons and psycho belief that a horrific bloody anarchist annihilation will bring you closer to your definition of, uh, of God, your deity or whatever. If, if that's the case, if you really do believe that, if that is really true, okay, but we're not going to be your guinea pigs for that experiment. You can experiment with that idea on your own, but without us, okay? Um, Israel, you guys really need to stop uh, bullying Iran and then faking that you're playing victim yourself because you guys uh you know look let's be real israel you guys stopped being god's chosen people when you started doing all that sinful stuff when moses went, went up the the mountain to get the ten commandments and he came down and you guys were just wiling out doing all kinds of crazy crap come on all right you the bible and the torah agree you guys stopped being the chosen people at that time before he took you to the promised land okay so let's let's be real here you can't play by your own rules and then say that you're the chosen ones because you're not playing by god's rules if you do your own thing okay um, 
And uh, you guys really need to stop getting us into trouble. I'm just saying. I mean, you guys, Israel, you're like that friend that can't take you anywhere without you getting, into, getting us into a fight. You know, it's like, oh, God, I don't want to go out with Israel. <sighs> She's going to freaking, you know, get us in a fight. Remember that fight she got us into with that bartender with <laughs> with the freaking bloods and the crips and the police department and, like, we were in the hospital and in jail for, like, freaking weeks? I don't want to go through that again. That's you guys, Israel. You're just like, oh, my God, I'm the chosen one. Like, I can do what I want. Like, whatever. Um, yeah, so can I have a blouse? <laughs> can I borrow your blouse? He's just like, will you leave Iran alone? The crazy guy over there with the who's just like, kill the kittens, kill the kittens. That's Iran. So you know, because that's kind of like we we kind of have no choice there. We have to kind of be um, what's the word I'm looking for? We kind of have to be careful with Iran and not let them do nuclear weapons because they're psychos. But Israel, you guys, seriously, you're like totally annoying with that whole like you know I can do what I want whatever like you know you just use us you know can I have your blouse it's just like will you stop messing with Iran oh, fine so can I have it <laughs> that's you guys but anyway um I just wish you guys would uh chill out so that we don't you don't keep getting us into petty crap with people um America you you know we need to stop bribing two-faced assholeish nations to pretend to be our friends they are not really our friends okay and then they give our money to people who they pretend not to be friends with. Like for example, was it Pakistan and the Taliban? Why are we giving them money? They're just giving it to our to our enemies, to terrorists who hate us. So yeah, I have to say that. Um, Mitt Romney, um, say all the silly crap you want, baby. You're going down like a loud radio November 6, 2012. Okay, I just have to say that too. Um, let's see here. Let's let's see what's up. Um, let's see, I'm on the yeah, the American Edu industry. Oh, also, Republicans, um, you need to stop hating on American patriotism just because it's not Republican. Um, stop hating on Obama and anyone who supports Obama say, for saving the auto industry, which you guys tried to let die. Yeah, we know about that. Um, Clint Eastwood's commercial during the Super Bowl um, was awesome, okay? And, um, hey, how come this isn't playing? Where's my music? Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, anyway, um... There's nothing... Okay, first of all, Clint Eastwood's a Republican. So how are you going to hate? You're a Republican, he's a Republican. Seriously. I mean, no wonder your party is shrinkling, sh shriveling down to nothing. Because you guys won't... You, everybody... Nobody's Republican enough for you. So, God, even the Republican, who's like the, you know, one of the coolest Republicans... Clint Eastwood's a pretty cool Republican. And, um, you know, even he knows that there's nothing politically partisan about supporting your country, your economy, your nation's job growth, and the spirit of America. Go Clint! You rock, okay? And, um, oh god, he said something. Well, let me see if I can find it right quick. Because he said something that was really cool in response to uh, what people were, uh, people were giving him a problem uh, or whatever. Um, they said something. He defended, oh, here it is. Awesome. He, he, was, he had to defend himself because you guys were giving him a hard time about defending our nation or, or, or being proud of our nation or something. What did he say? Where is it? Um, okay, this computer is pissing me off. Uh, he said... Where is it? Uh, Christ, what do they kind of... I'm actually... He says, I am certainly not politically affiliated with Mr. Obama. It was meant to be a message about just... Or just about... Uh, job growth and the spirit of America. I think all politicians will agree with it. I thought the spirit was okay. I am not supporting any politician. Uh, and then he said, uh, Chrysler, to their credit, didn't even have cars in the ad. Anything they gave me for it went to charity. If Obama or any other politician wants to run with the spirit of that ad, I say go for it. So there. You guys have no excuse for your, uh, your attitude towards that, uh, that ad. And, um, that's pretty much it. That's the other thing. I've yeah, truly um, oh, I think I was just going to end it with, um, you know, um, I uh, appreciate all the work that Obama has done, saving the auto industry, um, saving our economy after Bush destroyed it, um, the job growth with the millions of jobs he's created and stimulus that he, he did that work that you guys said didn't work and killing bin Laden and Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda, whatever. Um, you know, basically just doing a really, excuse my French, but doing doing a damn good job, okay? Our president has done a very good job, and people aren't really giving him the credit that's due him, which is so typical. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, 
President Obama, you know, you are the Abe Lincoln of our time, okay? Abe Lincoln, he was a Republican that back when Republicans were cool, and now Democrats are cool, and he was a great president of his time, and you're the greatest president of ours. So I just want to say thank you, and uh, if I have any more news to talk about, I will certainly do that. All right, thank you guys. Love you. God bless. Bye. <laughs> Vote for Obama. <laughs>